Agrivoltaics is a sustainable solution that enables dual use of the land to generate solar energy and produce crops or livestock. It can reduce water evaporation, improve crop yields and farm income, while creating new jobs in renewable energy. This innovative approach can reduce the food versus energy competition for land and enable climate smart practices that preserve agricultural land and increase their resilience with a changing climate. Our project's official name is SCAPES, Sustainably Co-Locating Agricultural and Photovoltaic Electricity Systems. SCAPES researchers are examining the most productive and profitable designs of agrivoltaic farms to harness the sun's power to produce energy and food at the same time and on the same land. Working with teams located in Illinois, Colorado, and Arizona, SCAPES research crosses a range of cropland environments and coordinates activities with a large team of collaborators, technicians, and students. A team in Arizona, under the leadership of Greg Baron Gafford, has already conducted agrivoltaics research for about a decade in a facility called Biosphere 2. We've been looking at this question of can you co-locate food crops and solar panels for about a decade now, but we felt kind of isolated because we were just looking in our one little corner of the country. And the SCAPES project allows us to think outside of our climate zone, to look to Arizona, to Colorado, to Illinois, and look at how different people do agriculture, how different solar developing can happen out on the landscape, and what are the different opportunities for this kind of co-location. Moreover, a team in Colorado, led by Alan Knapp, has been collecting data at Jack's Solar Garden. Colorado is an area where water is extremely limiting to crop growth, and so we're very interested in how we can use agrivoltaic approaches to actually benefit the water relations of crop growth. While a team at Illinois, led by Carl Bernacki and Anad Maloikovic, are establishing an agrivoltaic farm for row crops. I think when we could find opportunities to bridge together these two different industries on a landscape that's going to end up being more sustainable and more profitable, uh, you know, I, got, I get really excited about that prospect. Carbon output is too high and global climate change is affecting uh, our weather systems and our global climate. Agrivoltaics provides one avenue to help us live in a more sustainable way. Agrivoltaics is attractive both to farmers and solar developers and could reduce community opposition to solar energy development of cropland. According to a recent survey, 81.8% of respondents would be more likely to support solar development in their community if it integrated agricultural production. Our economics and extension teams are examining strategies to overcome adoption barriers for agrivoltaics. I've worked with farmers in Illinois for, for many years, and it's always been my goal to help them make better decisions. A lot of them are faced with this decision right now of whether or not to convert some of their farm ground into photovoltaic systems. And if we can give them an alternative and prove that it's a profitable alternative, I think that's a great thing. Thanks to the USDA's National Institute of Food and Agriculture and their Sustainable Agricultural Systems Program, our project led by project director Madhu Khanna, became the first major agrivoltaic project funded in 2021, pioneering research on such a wide scale. The value of the SCAPES project is that it is bringing together people from multiple disciplines to take a complete look at the different dimensions of moving towards more agrivoltaics on the landscape. Economics is really an important driver of how people make decisions, so having good information that is objective, science-based can really enable much better decision-making in the future. You can learn more about ongoing research on agrivoltaics in Biosphere 2 in Arizona and at Jack's Solar Garden in Colorado. And thanks to collaborations with the University of Illinois' Solar Farm 2.0 and the Energy Farm, we plan to demonstrate the benefits of agrivoltaics in the Midwest through this project. You can also experience agrivoltaics through a virtual agrivoltaics app we are presenting at local museums. This project was a real opportunity to develop something that would be in front of kids, that could be delivered to the public to highlight important research that's going on. And we'll be integrating it too with summer camps and courses that involve agriculture and technology. Through our diverse research sites, we are studying how solar panels help protect crops from overexposure in the Midwest, preserve soil moisture in the Southwest, 
and improve agricultural production in general. Plus, with solar companies' need for land, farmers can diversify their income. Agrovoltaic is really a, a novel way of integrating energy production with the existing agricultural system. Not only has some environmental benefits, but also they potentially bring actual income to farmers, to farming community. We just believe this is a good thing for the environment, for the climate, but at the same time for the local farming community.